Welcome to the chapter Knowing Numbers. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Learn about beads, mala and how to calculate the numbers using beads, mala. Represent the numbers and also find the missing numbers using a number scale. Convert the numbers into words form. Identify the missing numbers in a given sequence of numbers. Differentiate the types of expanded forms. Point out the place of given numbers. Rearrange the single digit numbers in two and three digit numbers. Analyze the numbers up to thousand. Introduction Let us see the introduction on knowing numbers. In the previous classes, we have already seen numbers from 1 to 100. Let's redefine the same concept with the help of beads mala. Do you know what beads are? How is beads mala defined? Let us see the introduction about beads. A bead is a small, decorative object that is formed in a variety of shapes and sizes of a material such as stone, bone, shell, glass, plastic, wood or pearl and in that a small hole is drilled for threading or stringing. The threading of all beads together is called beads mala. Let us perform an activity on knowing numbers using beads mala. Let us see the explanation on showing numbers using a number scale. The teacher asked Sandhya, how will you show the number 35 on this scale? She replied, I will place it between 30 and 40, not close to 30 or 40, but at the center of the two numbers as shown. The teacher replied, wow, this is a good way to represent the numbers. Examples on representing numbers on number scale. Let us perform an activity on knowing ages. Observe the different ages of a family and answer the following questions. Let us perform a simple activity on kiddie bank, saving money. The following table shows you the money saved by seven children in their kiddie bank in one month. Observe it and answer the following questions. Click submit button to verify your answers. Let us see the explanation of knowing numbers more than 100. In the earlier session, we have learned how to represent numbers from 1 to 100 on the number scale. 
In this, we are going to learn how to represent the numbers above 100 on the number scale. Let us first represent the number 50 on the number scale. 50 lies between 0 and 100. That is, not close to 0 or not close to 100, but exactly halfway between 0 and 100 as shown on the screen. Let us represent 530 on the number scale. The number 530 lies between 500 and 600, which means it will be closer to 500 and not close to 600. Let us perform an activity on to identify the numbers more than 100 on number scale. Here, let us learn how to write the numbers in words form. In the previous classes, we have learned how to expand two and three digit numbers into ones, tens and hundreds. Here we are going to learn how to write three digit numbers in the form of words. Let us know what word form is and how to write numbers in words. Let us take a three digit number as shown above. Now let us split them into hundreds, tens and ones. After splitting them, write the numbers in words. 250 can be written in words as 250. Let us perform an activity on writing numbers in words. Select an option from group A and match it with an option from group B. Let us now discuss the missing numbers. In the previous sessions, we have learned the expansion of numbers and number forms. Now, in this session, we are going to find the missing number in a series of numbers. Let us take a sequence of numbers. What would be the missing number? How to calculate it? In this, the sequence of numbers starts at 1 and by adding 2 each time, 1 plus 2 equals to 3, 3 plus 2 equals to 5, 5 plus 2 equals to 7, 7 plus 2 equals to 9. So, the next number would be 9 plus 2 equals to 11. So, 11 is the missing number. Let us perform an activity on missing numbers. Representing numbers using currency notes. If the price of a toy car is 145 rupees, we have to give a 100 rupee note, 4 10 rupee notes, and 5 1 rupee coins. If we add these, we will get the count of 145. Similarly, if the price of a baby doll is 220 rupees, we have to give 200 rupee notes and two 10 rupee notes, like this, we can represent the numbers using currency notes. Let us perform an activity to count the numbers using currency notes.
let us discuss the types of expanded forms. In the previous chapters, we have learned some expanded forms on numbers. In this chapter, we are going to learn the types of expanded forms on three-digit numbers. A three-digit number can be expanded in three forms. One form is by simply expanding them into the form of hundreds and tens as shown above. The second form is by expanding them in the form of hundreds, tens and ones and writing them in words as shown above. The third form is similar to the second one but difference is we wrote in words in the second form and in this we will write it in the numbers form. Let us see some examples on expanded forms. Revision of place value. Let us revise the concept how to expand a number using place value. For example, look at the number 85. Here, 5 is in 1's place and 8 is in 10's place, such that by multiplying the digits with their respective place values, we can expand the number. Now look at the number 985, which is a 3 digit. Here we have 9 in 100's place and just multiply it with 100 and expand 85 as shown in example 1. Let us perform an activity on place value of numbers. Playing with numbers. In this session, we are going to learn how to form different combinations of numbers using single digits. Let us take two single digit numbers and form them into different sets of two digit numbers in different combinations. Now let us take three single digit numbers to form different combinations of three digit numbers as shown. Activity 9. Customers Purchasing List Let us perform an activity on numbers up to 1000. Exercise. Let us see some exercise problems. Summary. Let us see the highlights of this chapter. A bead is a small, decorative object that is formed in a variety of shapes and sizes of a material such as stone, bone, shell, glass, plastic, wood or pearl and in that a small hole is drilled for threading or stringing. The threading of all beads together is called beads mala representing numbers in words form. How to represent the numbers on a number scale and also finding the missing numbers 
between two successive numbers. Calculation of numbers using currency notes. Types of expanded forms. Finding the place value of numbers. Formation of two and three digit numbers using two and three single digit numbers. Knowing numbers up to thousand. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click the solution tab to verify your answers. Follow up work. Find the missing numbers from the sequence. I am a three digit number. The digit in my hundreds place is six. The digit in my tens place is zero. And the digit in my units place is nine. Who am I? Find all the two digit numbers. Whose digit in the tens place is twice the digit in the units place? Find all the three digit numbers whose digit in the hundreds place is three times the digit in the units place and the digit in the tens place is one. Test your understanding by taking a mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Knowing Numbers.